This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is Mike Jones. He is the president and CEO of West Vault Mining. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is WVM on the TSX Venture. Mike, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? My pleasure. Just great. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. So let's start with a very quick overview and history of West Vault, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So we're uh, publicly traded, as you said. We uh, started our work uh, in North America looking for gold, and uh, we co-founded the company, uh, Frank Hallam and I, and quickly went after some assets in Nevada. We acquired uh, the current focus of the company, and uh, we're based in Nevada with our reserves. We have proven and probable reserves. And we're right at the final stage of federal permits on the second part of mine development there. So this is an advanced stage, proven and probable gold reserve, ready to go uh, in Nevada. So what would you say makes the company unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? It is, that's a good question. We, we are different um, in that we have a very specific strategy and our strategy matters here. So. Our strategy is to keep our costs extremely low and to advance the project to be ready for construction. So we're not in exploration, we're not an exploration company. We're focused on the value of the proven and probable reserves that we have and being prepared to take that gold out of the ground when it's extremely compelling. And of course, that's been a very good strategy with the price of gold moving and it shows up in our numbers in terms of the value of this stock. You know, I, I have to follow up on that because I think the obvious next question is, well, when is it compelling? Is it? <laughs> sure. So, you know, the original uh, thesis was that, you know, we were going to look at bringing this asset on in production when gold goes through $2,000. Now, a year ago, that seemed like a long way away. Um, and of course, currently, here we are. Um, but we believe that there's a secular high coming in gold. Um, and that this asset can really uh, take advantage of that. One of the nice things about the project is from the construction decision to initial production, it's a one year time period, and it's only a $47 million peak funding to put the project into production. Um, interestingly, currently our internal rate of return is over 100% IRR. Um, that's very rare in the mining business, and it shows that our strategy is right to be there when it's compelling. And maybe give some people some perspective too, when you say only 47 million to, to get it to <laughs> everything for construction, because what's, what's some of the normal pricing of getting you know, everything ready to start pulling product out of the ground? Sure, Typ typical uh, gold projects in the 70 to 100,000 ounces of production range uh, can easily have 100 to $150 million capital costs. So we know a number of our peers also have good projects, but you know their internal rate, rate returns are in the current gold price, maybe in the 40 or 50% range. What's unusual about this one is the low capital cost at half or even a third of what's normal. Why is that? It's because it's open pit reserves exposed at surface with a low strip ratio. In fact, the first benches are actually with no stripping whatsoever and they go straight to a heat bleach pad for heat bleach extraction. And that material actually in our first pit is run of mine. So there's no crushing, no agglomeration, no crushing circuit. That's what makes this a low cost project and what makes it so attractive. And we've actually attracted now some very senior um, investors um, and we've consolidated the project to own 100% of it. So that's just happened uh, in the last few days. Um, and the largest shareholder of the company is the Sun Valley Gold Fund at 48% of the stock. And Peter Palmetto, the uh, portfolio manager there, has taken the unusual step to come on our board um, and actually be the chairman. So we definitely have alignment between our shareholders uh, and management uh, in the, on that way. And I also have to ask, you know, what's your background? What, what brought you to this project? Well, I'm a geological engineer uh, by background. I'm a co-founder of Mag Silver. Investors might know that company very well. I was there at the very beginning uh, with Peter McGaw and, and again, Frank Hallam, my partner. Um, and we also co-founded a company called West Timmins Mining that we sold uh, to Lakeshore for about $400 million. So I'm a geological engineer by background, but I've been in the public markets for uh, well, 35 years now. 
And then from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now moving forward for the rest of this year going into 2021? Well, it's really exciting right now because we've just consolidated 100% of the project uh, interest buying out Waterton, our 25% partner. So we have a great opportunity here really to have the stock revalued. I mean, it's trading at 0.2 times NAV currently. Um, so there's a great opportunity here just to get uh, news out about the company and revalue it. I think that's the first milestone. The next one is we're right on the final step of the, the federal permit for our second pit. So our first pit is fully permitted, federal and state. And we're now gone through the public consultation period at the end of the permitting period for the second pit. So that's an important milestone that's right in front of us. And also we've got our a royalty that we bought from Newmont on our own project. We actually have that 1.1% NSR out for sale. And we have several bids. Um, crystallizing the value of that royalty would be another excellent marker, both of the value of the project, but also put cash in the till without issuing any shares. So those are the things to look for in the very near term. Well, with that, where can my audience find more information about West Vault Mining? So it's at westvaultmining.com, pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, there's a good investor presentation there. One of the key slides I'll point you to is the sensitivity to the price of gold. So, um, you know, again, a $2,000 gold was sitting at over 100% IRR um, in the independent feasibility study work and uh, a net present value of $356 million US. Um, so that's sitting at uh, more than $6 US a share. Um, so there's a lot of value. This is a very deep value story. Well, with that, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe. Good luck. And I, I look forward to our next update. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft. I'm your host on SNN Network. And we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. Mike will be there on behalf of West Vault Mining. And thank you all for listening today.